So imagine this, you're online, trying to log in. Before you can proceed, you're stopped. A screen pops up asking you to prove you're human. It tells you to click every image with a traffic light or type in a blurry, barely legible string of characters. You're told it's a simple security check. But what if I told you it's not just about keeping bots out? What if that box, the one that says I'm not a robot, wasn't just watching what you click, but how you click it? And what if those puzzles weren't tests at all, but tasks? Ones you were being tricked into completing for free. Because the truth is, you've been helping build artificial intelligence all along, and no one told you. Let's go back to the early 2000s. The internet was booming, but so were the bots. Automated programs were spamming forums, scooping up usernames, and creating fake accounts by the thousands. So websites fought back with something called CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. The idea was simple. Show a distorted word or image that a human could understand, but a machine couldn't. If you passed the test, you got in. If not, you were blocked. It was a clever solution to a growing problem, but then it evolved. In 2009, Google quietly bought a tool called reCAPTCHA. You probably know it well. It's the one that shows you the blurry images of stop signs, buses, and crosswalks and asks you to click them. But here's where things get strange. You thought you were just proving you're human, but you were also labeling those images. See, to train artificial intelligence to recognize the world, what a bus looks like, what a traffic light is, what a fire hydrant does, you need a huge data set. But AI doesn't know what it's looking at. It has to be taught. And that's where you come in. Every time you solved a reCAPTCHA, you were doing free labor, teaching Google's AI how to see. And not just for search engines or Google Maps, According to leaked internal documentation and researchers, the same technology helped train Waymo, Google's self-driving car division. So yes, every time you clicked a blurry crosswalk, you were helping build the brains of autonomous vehicles. And you weren't paid, and you weren't credited. You didn't even know. Now let's talk about something even creepier. That little checkbox that says, I'm not a robot? Seems simple, right? Click the box, move on, but it's not that simple. When you click it, Google isn't just checking that you clicked it. They're watching how you clicked it. How you moved your mouse, what page you were on before, how fast you scrolled, whether your cursor hesitated or moved confidently, whether you were already logged into your Google account. All of that behavior subtle, invisible, gets fed into a machine learning model that judges how human you seem. If you pass, you go through. If not, well, then comes the puzzle. Now you might be thinking, okay, that's weird, but so what? Here's the problem. This isn't just about training image recognition. It's about labor, your labor, being used to build powerful tools without your consent. It's about using your time, attention, and behavior to train AI systems that could power surveillance networks, law enforcement tools, and yes, even military applications. And the most eerie part? This practice isn't limited just to Google. Other CAPTCHA systems exist too, some linked to government agencies, facial recognition startups, and even private data brokers. Some researchers believe we're on the edge of a massive ethical blind spot where people unknowingly feed the machine every day, not by signing a contract, but by clicking a box. Here's the twist. The next time you're stopped by a CAPTCHA, think about what it's really doing. It's not just verifying that you're not a robot. It's watching you. It's studying you and using your answers to make the machines smarter. 
You thought you were solving a puzzle, but the puzzle was solving you.